My dear, you have always asked me about my recent sailing trip to the Baltic Sea. This year, finally, I took my time to enjoy the food as well. They say the Baltic Sea is where rock stars find peace. I say it is a well-hidden treasure with visibility greater than five nautical miles and a network of beautiful and modern small ports that make sailing a pure pleasure. The harbor masters are reliable and helpful, happy to share advice and tips on restaurants, supermarkets, hiking, and simply suggest the best places to visit. One of the fastest internet connections available almost everywhere. And let me tell you more, even after a longer sailing and exploring different tastes of the coastal ports, I was still excited. I wanted to sail all summer long, but I couldn't leave my cats, Ragnar and Eric. I miss them too. During summer, local onshore blowing wind in the daytime and offshore at night was quite frequent. The reason lies in the difference between the temperatures of the sea and the land. My old friend at Pavolosta let me try his new boat in these bumpy waves. What an amazing start to this trip. I just couldn't resist trying this local carrot and potato tart with rye bread. No doubt it's protected by Europeans' traditional specialty guaranteed mark, Sklandrosis, it is called. Of course, we took some on board before sailing to the Pearl of the Baltic Sea, Riga. The center of Riga is about seven miles from the sea, and the marina is just in the heart of the city. Did you know that Riga was a member of the Hanseatic League? There is so much to explore around the old town, including Art Nouveau architecture and the biggest European market, where I had some words with local farmers to find out more about the traditions of local food seasoning. The former Zeppelin hangars are now homes to the local products. Salad with goat cheese and beets and grass-fed tartare was a delicate surprise in this city with the port in the heart. Apart from food, I visited the Gulf of Riga Regatta that was happening at the same time. Probably we should try it again next year. Next stop, Salix Griva Port. While sporting yachts were competing, I enjoyed my leisure time on the cruise and stayed at Salix Griva Modern Port. We turned our sails to Parna. During this pleasant trip, in a relatively small and closed area, we met some sharp wind waves having the same direction as the wind in the open part of the sea. Parno and its yacht club of more than 100 years is the biggest port in Southwest Estonia. According to the ancient story, young lovers must walk to the end of the mole and seal their love with a kiss there. Doing so would bring the lovers eternal love. Yes, the curd is used almost in every dessert, like dill in Latvian cuisine. Only one planned day in Tallinn transformed into a few more. The old city marina at the foot of the old town is a modern marina with floating docks, yacht club, free Wi-Fi, conference room, sauna, restaurant, and supermarket. While walking around, I found global flavors ranging from Asian to Mexican cuisine and from kosher food to rustic pork. Good that food here can suit all taste buds. As I prefer local gastronomy, I sat down in the Port Cafe and ate a Sprat sandwich with rye bread that was bought from a fisherman. It tasted even better than the chef fisherman promised. Even funnier was that we didn't speak any language to understand each other. No words were needed. Hanka, what a lovely port built among cliffs and small islands. There are up to 90 of them around in the archipelago. Perfect place to take a tour.
Sailing the Baltic Sea immediately made me feel at home there. And the existing infrastructure for yacht tourists exceeds all expectations. The beautiful landscapes with their many beaches, forests, and reed banks, and heartwarming locals inspired the crew to come back next year. So glad all the recipes for my trip are written down and I can pass this joy to you, my dears. Now it's your time to sail the Baltic Sea and try authentic foods.